Hello, my name is Janie and I will be your student nurse today. Can I go ahead and have you confirm your name and date of birth for me? Okay, thank you. I'm going to close the curtain to ensure our privacy. Okay, and do you have any allergies I should know about today? You do not? Great. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. Okay, and today we will be doing a few injections. Um, we're going to do a subcutaneous and an intramuscular injection. It should only take a minute. Okay. So I need to first prepare my needles. Um, this will be for my um, intra, um, my subcutaneous. And subcutaneous is going to be with um, a 25 gauge and my intramuscular, which will be with a 23 gauge. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make sure I have this set up. Again, this is my 23 gauge for my intramuscular. And then I will set up my subcutaneous further um, closer to time because I don't want for my filter straw to be exposed to air for too long since it is supposed to be sterile. Okay, and I will have my model come in um, to show my injection sites. Okay, um, for our intramuscular injection sites, we have the deltoid. So we will find the acromion process and go down, and this would be our injection site. Okay, um, now can I have you lift your leg to the side? Okay, we're finding the greater trochanter. Okay, you can put it back down. And make sure to feel for the iliac crest because you do not want to hit that bone. And then I would insert my needle here. This is for ventral gluteal. Okay, and can I go ahead and have you turn around and again do your leg to the side? Find that greater trochanter. Okay, thank you. And I will find your ischial spine, and I will come over, and this will be my injection site for dorsal gluteal. And you have to make sure um, that you are not near the sciatic nerve with that one. Okay, can I have you turn around? And now again, I will get you to lift your leg, find that greater trochanter, thank you, and find the patella, and then I will come and meet in the center and this would be my injection site for my vastus lateralis. Okay, now for the subcutaneous. We're going to have um, two inches away from the umbilicus on each side, upper and lower quadrant, and the backs of the arms, the upper back, the lower back, and the, and the um, adipose tissue on the top of the thighs. And those will be our sites. Um, okay, so I will go ahead and start with my um, intramuscular, getting my solution ready. Before I do that, I will make sure to clean my vial and check the expiration date. Okay, it is in date, so I can use this. Okay. Make sure to insert air in here. I will need two milliliters of solution. Insert the air. Okay, go ahead and check for some air bubbles. I'm at 
two milliliters. Okay, and then I will safely recap my needle. Now for my subcutaneous, I will be using an ampule. I need to make sure there is no solution in the neck of the ampule. Okay, and I will be doing 0.75 milliliters. So for this, now I can use my filter straw since I, since I wanted to keep it sterile. So I need to break off the neck of my ampule. To do this, I will use an alcohol swab to hold the neck, and I will break it away from myself. And throw this in the sharps container. Okay. Just want to make sure it's the right amount. Okay, 0.75. Okay, so now I will throw my ampule into the sharps container. remove um, the wrapping on my needle and again this is a 25 gauge for my subcutaneous. Okay, I will remove my filter straw. Okay. Um, first I want to do my intramuscular and I'm going to go ahead and loosen the cap on both of my syringes. This will just make it easier um, when I'm trying to get to them later. Okay. And for this patient, um, intramuscular, they need two milliliters um, so I will be doing this um, ventral gluteal. And for my subcutaneous, I need um, 0.75 milliliters. And I will do this um, in the back of their arm. So the posterior surface of the arm. Okay. First, I will need to clean my site with an alcohol pad. So I'll go ahead and have that prepared. Okay, I'm locating my site. So again, since this is intramuscular with two milliliters, I'm locating my um, ventral gluteal site. Okay, so I'm going to clean. Throw away this alcohol swab. I'm going to give that a little bit of time to dry without moving my non-dominant hand, and I will get my syringe and come in at a 90 degree angle. And then I would inject the solution and pull out, apply pressure. And I'm going to put my needle, without recapping it, into the sharps container. 
and if the patient needed it, I would place a Band-Aid on the site. Um, so now for the subcutaneous, I again um, will need to clean the site. I'm going to locate it, the back of the arms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pinch up a little. Clean. Let it dry. Um, since this is subcutaneous, I could go in at either a 90 degree or 45 degree angle. For this patient, I will go in at 90 degree angle. Okay, I would insert my solution and pull out. Apply pressure. I'm going to put my needle into the sharps container without recapping. And then again, I could place a band-aid if the patient needed it. Um, so I will remove my gloves. And wash my hands. And I will fill out my MAR so that they know I did administer this medication. So I need to do my initials next to both and state the site that I place the injection. So for my intramuscular, I place this ventral gluteal. So I would say left, because that's where I did it, was on the left. So left, ventral, gluteal. For my subcutaneous, I used the left posterior arm. Okay, and I will sign first and last name S N and initial my M A R. Okay, thank you.